This is the second uh, film in a series to show you how to take your objects from model space and put them into paper space in preparation for printing. And um, this follows on from the first one and it just shows you a few more variations, a little bit more depth than the first one did. So here we've got a drawing of our corner of an office block, if you like. Uh, here's the outside walls with the windows in it and we say this is the training department of the uh, company. Got a little sofa here in a waiting room I suppose and in this room here we've got uh, desks of seven people to uh, for a training. So and this is drawn full size in millimeters and we can uh, check that first of all to make sure I see what we're looking at so I can uh, I can snap onto the end of here snap onto the end of there with a V snap take that out and we can see it's 9960 millimeters which in, uh, in Christian is about uh, 30 foot, that sounds right to me. We just take a measurement off this desk here, again do it exactly the same way. It's coming out 539 millimeters, so it's a bit over half a yard, or half a meter, which sounds about right. So it's always good just to check things when you get a drawing in first. So I'm going to take those measurements out. So we know we're dealing with something that's full size. Now the next thing is to take some snapshots of our drawing and they're called views. So view, named views, create a view. Same as the first, uh, first film. Left click, keep your finger down, drag it down top right to bottom left, take your finger off, it asks for a name. So we're going to call this plan. Okay. And we can create as many of these as we like. So let's just do one more, create view. And this one here, perhaps we'll do the stair. And we call that a detail. Okay. Now we go to paper. So I click on the paper. Now I'm looking at a sheet of paper. You may have to set it up. Yours might default to exactly what your printer, what you want, but here I'm setting up page setup. It's defaulted to B5. It's not what we want. I'm going to stick to A4 here. We're not going to get into uh, fancy tiling or anything. So uh, where's A4? A4 landscape. So again, our uh, printer paper and our drawing size are matching. I'm going to leave all that business and say OK. Now I know I'm looking at a sheet of A4 in landscape. I go back to view, viewports, viewport. And now I'm going to left click again, top bottom, uh, top left to bottom right. Take my finger off, and in there I want the plan. Go to. And in, then I go view, named views, create, uh, sorry, viewport, viewport. Again, do that. And in this one I want the detail. So it's detail, go to. There they are. Now if we go back to model space and if I open my design director from tools, palettes, uh, design director, we can see here that I've got uh, four layers. I've got two construction layers but they come from something else I was doing. Well, forget those, don't bother. Them. I've got my default layer which is the active one. This is a tick here that says that's the one I'm working on. And here's the eye showing and we can see it. If I turn that off, it disappears. Click onto it, it's back. The furniture I've put on a different layer. So if I click onto this eye, you'll see the furniture disappears. There, it's back. Now those layers will also uh, transfer over into paper space. So back to paper space. Here's the two viewports I've brought in. Select my viewport. Right click, properties. Viewport. Now you see here, it says it's called plan, that's right. It shows the naught, the default layer, which is where the walls and stuff on. Uh, so forget these constraints. Uh, furniture, and it's showing the furniture. And if I don't want to see the furniture, I can simply click on that there, and they'll disappear. It's coming at an arbitrary scale. If I click onto here, it tells me it's coming at 1 to 65.6. Now, if I make it 1 to 50, I think the chance is going to be too big to fit into that box, but we'll have a look. So we'll say OK, 
and yeah it is it's too big to fit into that box if we want that sort of layout if we move this one obviously made the box bigger we'd be okay but say we don't want that we go to properties we go back to viewport here and now I'm going to change it to 1 to 100 and say OK and there it is and then this viewport here we could uh, mess about with change and obviously the size of the uh, drawing inside won't change because we've set the uh, we've set the scale this one here we might want to um, make stand out a little bit or just change it if we go to viewport we could put a color so this is background transparent if I untick that and go to color chose a sort of light turquoise say OK then we have that and obviously as before if I didn't want the box around here properties uh, turn off the visible box and then we've got the drawing like that okay so that's just one stage further in uh, how we manipulate our paper space